after being nominated for the best RPG and also best art direction in video game awards, Lies of P comes out with a bang and they're coming out with the latest patch update version 1.3.0.0. And they are giving the following. All you have to do is go into your stash and they're giving the alchemist hat, treasure hunters mask, treasure hunters hunting apparel and illusionary emerald glasses now how are you going to be able to get this well all you got to do is after installing the latest patch the following can be found and equipped in from the bag menu they also went ahead and added a new category to the custom menu now players can equip a mask and accessories together in the hair section in the costume menu you're also going to get a short gray hair that has been added to the game which is going to be available after reaching any of the game's ending for the first time available for the Gepetto's tools and you're also going to get a new option to adjust a subtitles all you got to go is to settings gameplay and then adjust the subtitle size so those are the free items that you're going to get the new content that has been added to the game so let me know in the comment section if you think lies of p is going to get the best rpg of the year now we're also going to be taking a look at the balance content and improvements of the game they went ahead and did something that i'm not very too happy about because it's a souls like game and they went ahead and decreased field difficulty was what they did is they adjusted the attack speed for some monsters to make their attacks more intuitive and also increase the duration of stance breaks for some mo uh, monsters and then they adjusted the spawn locations for some monsters and traps to fit better with the flow of the game let me know if you agree with that improvement or balance I don't see it as improvement, but some of you guys may. Now, the P Oregon Rising Dodge has been charged to de to defeat, actually to default ability, retain guard, regain upon pole cells use has been added to the P Oregon system to replace Rising Dodge. And we go ahead and take a look at the combat balance adjustments that they made for this patch update. Now, the patch is available now. If you are downloading it and you're going to be able to get for the balance adjustments is increased damage to some weapons, increase some weapon to trigger stance breaks to monsters more frequently. Now, relatively lighter blaze will gain more gar regain while heavier blades gain less guard regain. It does make sense. Now you're also gonna get decrease the delay attack and attack actually, and after the time to charge, the charge attack for some heavy handles. Now, some heavier handles will have a faster attack speed depending on the assembling blade. Adjust the, the structure damage, afflicting the monsters by a perfect guard. The Weapon Puppet's Saber Blade will now have an increased stats after enchanting. And then we're also going to be getting an increase the movement distance while using the Proof Humanity Weapons Attack Skill. Increase the damage reduction rate while guarding the weapon edict, but reduce the Fable's Charge amount of set period of time when you're going to be able to attack you're also going to get in, getting some enhancements of the attacking of mechanism after it successfully performing the fable arts guard parry increase the damage buff of the bill of provocation to the players and you're also going to get the attribute status alignment will now stack faster by following the fable art so looks like the fable arts is it is getting a very nice buff and the following is also being improved the thunder strike flame strike acid slash and we're also getting an increase the damage of the fatal attacks to better scale the player stats increase the attack radius of attacking mechanisms of the legion arm angus 3 
counter charge, also the pillars in the Kill Kim Flame Fukos room will now only be destroyed by Focus Fury's attack. We're all, there went also and added a few more things to the NPCs, which is going to be for the Polendian shop. Two more quartz can be purchased during the early stage of the game after expanding the shop for the first time ever. One additional quartz can be purchased and guess one more quartz. After expanding the shop for the third time, two additional full moonstones of the covenant can be purchased they also went ahead and improved on some of the gameplay mechanics by fixing some of the bugs as you are seeing here the first one is going to be a fix a bug sometimes cause a character to shoot into the sky while using a legion arm pop a string three and they fix some items with the parry finally they are able to fix this which was really buggy and we're also going to be getting some improvement on the guard also when you're fighting bosses and also the p organ ability the natural recovery dur durability is also getting on inactive weapons reduce the weapon durability while inactive during certain situations so overall after they being nominated they went ahead and brought this new patch update, which seems to bring is going to bring a lot of good things to the game. So let me know in the comment section below, and hopefully it doesn't break anything, of course. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications to all, and we'll see you on the next video.